<laughs> okay, uh, let's have a look at what some of us are having to do right now, and that is isolate. With one million COVID cases now having been recorded in Scotland, many of us will have to self-isolate at some point or another. The latest wave of Omicron means that at the moment tens of thousands of us are having to stay indoors. The good news is that the minimum isolation period has been reduced from 10 to 7 days. But shutting ourselves away from the world can take its toll on well-being and mental health. Isla Todd has been looking into how different people have been coping. It's the middle of winter and the holidays are over and the January blues are upon us. But it's not just the time of year that's getting us down. Many of us are self-isolating after catching COVID over Christmas. The hardest day was probably day five um, or day four. Time lost meaning. But um, I said to like one of my friends, my, my roommate, because she was in kind of the hallway and I kind of had my head out. And I'm like, oh, today's Tuesday. So I've only got two days left. And she's like, no, I'm so sorry. It's Saturday. There isn't actually much that I feel like I can do. Um, what we have been doing is we've, we've both got Xboxes, so we've been playing games with our friends. And just trying to, you know, fill the time with, with what will nourish us, but obviously indoors. So maybe doing like online workshops or, you know, um, we had the fire pit out on New Year's Eve because we couldn't, couldn't go anywhere, we had to stay in the garden. Three, two, one, two, yeah. one. But it's an even longer wait for the Arthur family. Seven-year-old twins Olivia and Oren have Pompeii disease and the whole family has been shielding to protect them for 22 months. Don't get me wrong, there's some days you're just like, it's like Groundhog Day and you have to stand in front of the mirror for about five minutes before you go face everyone and just go, we've got this, we've got this, but you don't have a choice. It, it's, it's, do you know, and I think if we got into the mentality of thinking, you know, we can't do this, we were done for. And while Scotland's self-isolation period has just been reduced from 10 to 7 days under certain circumstances, self-isolating is never going to be easy. If you have an insecure job that might expect you to work or you might lose your job if you self-isolate or if you're a lone parent with, with kids that are having to isolate with you, uh, if you have a, a long-term health condition and the prospect of getting COVID could be really dangerous to you or someone in your family, those are things that are likely to ratchet up the sense of fear and nervousness that you might have and exacerbate any mental health problems that you may already have. So what can we learn from those who've conquered cabin fever? Anytime we have a kind of a bit of a dip, the twins are quite good at going, you know, what are we going to do? Mummy, it's, you know, what will we do? This, we're bored or, the, the, yeah. do you know what? Let's dress up. Let's do something completely ridiculous. Let's like in, in make summer, a TikTok. Let's yeah. make something ridiculous or, yeah. In, in the summer, yeah. we've uh, spent a lot of time playing in the garden. Escapism, routine and a solid support network. The key to surviving, self-isolating, it seems, is not going it alone. Isla Todd, BBC News. I mean, they've got a great attitude yeah, towards it. Yeah, hats off to them. 22 months is a long time, especially with wee ones in the house. Well done to them. So please get in touch with us if you have any story to share or something to say. Our email address is just there. And so are our Twitter and Instagram details.